welcome once again to my channel for need biology here not only need biology but also any kind of biological problems you can solve here so today we'll discuss about what are the actual structure of the dna and rna why they are called acid why they are called deoxyribose or ribose sugar so let's start what are actually the ribose and deoxyribose sugar so let's start the from a structure here we will see that first look here this is a linear structure of a ribose sugar this is a pentose sugar why i am discussing from sugar in a discussion of a dna and rna because dna and rna's main structure here the ribose this is the one of the most important structure is ribose so first ribose sugar we will discuss about ribose and deoxyribose sugar here the linear structure of ribose here the five carbon component here the 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 this five carbon component and out of the five five carbon the first carbon has a one double bond oxygen and hydrogen that is a CHO group aldehyde group this is the aldehyde sugar not a keto sugar O's is there ribose so aldehyde sugar this is also deoxyribose here what happened with this difference difference is that only in a second carbon second carbon position you will see that in a OH group is present here but in this case second carbon no OH group is there only hydrogen so deoxy D means in a Latin D means not present not present or absent that is not present so deoxy ribose that is in this case in this case that is two in two carbon position no oxygen is present so why called deoxy ribose sugar so and this is a linear structure and this is a another a structure when in present in a solution when a sugar present in a solution it will form a ring in the case of ring structure we will see that how the ring is formed here ring structure the carbon numbering starting from here the 1 2 3 4 and 5 this one in this way it is also here from 1 2 3 4 and 5 so how uh, the one number carbon is HOH because in this um, but in this case what happened one number carbon carbon number one has one double bond oxygen so why the uh, double bond oxygen is changed how it is changed changed by means of this hydrogen so and a carbon this carbon one number carbon derive hydrogen from here and it's being converted into OH and H now what happened with carbon 4 the carbon 4 here the carbon 4 here the carbon 4 it has one hydrogen and another double bond oxygen it has one hydrogen and another double bond oxygen so this OH becomes converted into CO in this case this is a carbon this is a carbon position and CO and a hydrogen in this way and this one is converted into CHOH so this is a way of linear difference between linear and a chain structure and if you will see that deoxy why call it is beta d ribose and it is also beta 2 deoxy ribose beta d ribose because beta why it is called beta not alpha beta because if you will see that one number carbon and two number carbons OH position OH positions are different that is here the OH position is upward here the it says downward so it is a beta if OH is present will be present here then it will be alpha so it is also beta d here the one and uh, three number carbon OH orientation is different so beta deoxy ribose here beta 2 deoxy ribose and only difference is there here you will see that two number carbon in case of deoxy ribose like that here two number carbon of deoxy ribose contain no oxygen here two number carbon contain oxygen so it is the main difference between this sugar so uh, this is a sugar difference now what are the structure of DNA and RNA now first we will discuss why it is called acid deoxy ribonucleic acid and uh, ribonucleic acid why it is called acid acid because we know that acid is a component which is able to transfer hydrogen in a solution then it is called hydrogen ion in a solution it is called acid where the hydrogen ion is transferred by this DNA which hydrogen molecule sorry which hydrogen atom is transferred uh, and uh, as a uh, proton as an ionic condition uh, as an ionic uh, form in solution so in this case we will see that here the DNA DNA deoxyribonucleic acid it has what happened DNA has a three structure three components one is deoxyribose sugar 
another is phosphate molecule there the first one is this second one is this and third one is uh, nucleotide base so nucleotide base ribose sugar and phosphate these three components are there now if we will see that the phosphate phosphate's actual structure is H3PO4 H3PO4 that is phosphate is present here and it has a OH group of 3 OH group here here the OH group here the double bond O and this 2 O group is there if we we'll, uh, draw it in a proper way we will see that uh, 3 OH group it has 3 OH group and double bond oxygen so H3PO4 H3PO4 and these phosphates here look all the OH groups here the both the 2 OH groups these 2 OH groups 1 2 these 2 OH groups are involved in a formation of phosphodiester linkage here the it is called phosphodiester 1 ester linkage is present here another ester linkage is present here so it is called phosphodiester bond so these 2 OH groups are involved in phosphodiester linkage formation with a 5 carbon and 3 carbon component of the 2 successive sugar molecule here the upper the 3 carbon component molecule here the 1 2 3 1 2 sorry uh, 1 2 3 3 carbon component the phosphate is attached with the 3 carbon component position of the ribose of the upper ribose and 5 carbon component with the lower car, uh, lower ribose lower deoxyribose so in this case what happened here you will see that two OH group are involved in phosphodiester linkage formation and one OH group remains along with the double bond O so this OH groups hydrogen is released into the solution as a proton so why it is called acid so whenever phosphate is present in a DNA and RNA structure if we will see that one OH group the two OH group are involved here and one OH group is remains here and this hydrogen molecule released as a H plus in a solution so why they are called acid now you will see that is structure the structure of a DNA and RNA what happened here the sugar and sugar one carbon molecule first carbon here the sugar's first carbon molecule is OH so this OH is involved in the formation in the formation of glycosidic linkage with what kind of linkage glycosidic linkage with the nucleotide or nucleoside uh, with the nitrogenous base this is a nitrogenous base adenine guanine thymine cytosine this is a nitrogenous base they are purine or pyrimidines we know that the adenine and guanine are the purines and thymine cytosine in case of DNA it is pyrimidines in case of uh, RNA the adenine and guanine are the purines and uracil and cytosine are pyrimidines so if we we'll consider that what kind of uh, what are the three types of uh, pyrimidines present in DNA and RNA both consider then you will see that three kinds of purines, uh, pyrimidines are there thymine cytosine and uracil uracil in RNA and thymine cytosine in DNA and you will see that the DNA DNA has adenine and guanine has purine as well as in RNA adenine and guanine is purine now uh, there is a uh, one carbon here the first carbon is involved in the formation of glycosidic bond this is a glycosidic bond with a nitrogenous base so this OH group first OH group this first OH group is attached with the nitrogenous base with the help of glycosidic linkage so this one is involved in the formation of glycosidic one two is remain left and 3 is again involved in the phosphodiester linkage and 4, 4 carbon remain left and 5 is again formation of phosphodiester linkage with the upper sugar molecule, upper, upper phosphate molecule. So this is a 1 ester linkage and another ester linkage, this 2 ester linkage, 1 ester linkage, 2 ester linkage. So in this way DNA is formed and RNA, so uh, why it is called 5 prime to 3 prime end because at the end uh, if you see that at the end sugar of the DNA, DNA chain, one chain of the DNA, one three, three prime molecule will also will always be free. One three prime OH molecule, this is a three prime, so why it's called three prime OH? And in, at the upper end, at the at the upper end, one five carbon molecule should be free. So why it is called five carbon molecule, uh, five prime end? So five prime and three prime end is nothing but due to the uh, carbon open. Here the five carbon remains open at the last, at the top topmost uh, sugar molecule and at the least at the lowermost sugar molecule the 3 prime OH remains open so I call 3 prime OH group so we will have I mean, discussed about the DNA and RNA and RNA structure is the only difference is that at the 2 carbon molecule 2 carbon molecule here the OH here the 2 carbon molecule is the only hydrogen so here is the ribose sugar and deoxyribose sugar we will see that the uh, pyrimidines and purines 
sorry uh, first we will discuss about nucleotide and nucleoside what are the nucleotides nucleotides are the three components together constitute nucleotide sugar phosphate and nitrogenous base if will they are the sugar sugar uh, nitrogenous base sugar and phosphate these three components forms a nucleotide if phosphate will be not be there then it will be nucleoside so nucleotide and nucleoside basic difference is not very much only phosphate molecule present or absent here the uh, purine and pyrimidine uh, structure purine has a larger structure than pyrimidines it has a one imidazole ring and it has uh, another chamber another five carbon component here and it is a six carbon molecule so uh, six atomic molecule here the numbering system is unique numbering system here the anti clockwise in case of purine from 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then clockwise 7 8 9 but in this case it is always seven, uh, clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 6 in this way so uh, it is a pyrimidine structure as a purine structure common in all case of nucleotide uh, on case of nitrogenous base so you will take look here properly that what are actually the dna structure any kind of query you can ask me in a comment section okay thank you